Ta-da! Oh, Gwen, <laughs> this is dead on, so it is. Well, I thought we'd have something special, seeing as it's Easter Sunday. Well, it's special enough having you here. <laughs> it's a pity we haven't got the new bed. We could be putting it through its paces. Oh, God, Gwen, I'll tell you what, you'll have me worn out, so you will. Well, listen, Gwen, about this bed. I mean, it's great. I love the idea and all that sort of carry on, as long as we can keep up the payments, you understand me? I know that. There's no need to keep rubbing it in. Well, I'm not rubbing it in. I just thought I'd bring it up, OK? I thought we'd been through all this. You either trust me or you don't. I do trust you. Of course I trust you. Well, how can I enjoy myself if every time I spend something, you're going on at me? I don't mean to go on at you. We agreed the place need redoing. Yes, I know it needs redoing, but what we're going to afford when we're going to afford it. I'm really looking forward to getting that bed. Oh, Gwen, I'm sorry. I don't mean to spoil things for you. You don't know what it's like living with another woman's furniture. Gwen, it's my furniture, OK? She left here ages ago. Yeah, but it's her taste. I feel like a lodger. Well, I don't mean you to feel like a lodger. That's the last thing I want. I'll tell you what, I'll go back to the shop and I'll buy all the wallpaper you want and then we can make a start now, eh? How's that? Oh, you, you'd understand. Right, can I have my scram now? Yeah, get stuck in. See, what's that? I mean, what's that got to do with that? Um, hiya. Thing? I couldn't help overhearing earlier. You redecorating your place, are you? Yeah, well. So, what if we are? Well, I thought maybe I could be some help. I popped into that new DIY place in town the other day. They've got all kinds of special offers on paint. You can save a fortune. Well, there you are now. Sit yourself down, Haley. Come on. No, um, don't. We don't need your advice and we don't need cheap paint. Well, I was only trying to be friendly. Yeah, well, you're friendly when it suits you. Can't have it both ways. No. Well, I suppose not. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. Uh, do you mind if I finish my beer? Oh, please yourself. Janice, what's going on, eh? What's the crack? Oh, no, really. Ailey's supervising now, and... Well, she caught Gwen swinging lead, threatened to hit sack. Oh, well, she never said that. I'll see you later. Bye, Ailey. You never mentioned anything, did you? Well, I don't tell you every little growl that happened at work. Yeah, but Gwen, she threatened to sack you. No, she didn't. Janice was exaggerating. It was just a difference of opinion, that's all. Anyway, I'm not going to be sacked by the likes of Ailey, am I? She's no but machines to sell. Yeah, but what if Baldwin's backing her up? Hey, you want to be careful, girl, I'm telling you. Hey, you are, big lad. Yeah. Here, listen, are you sure you wouldn't rather go for a jar? Oh, no, no, I'm happy with this. I'll not stop long. All right. Whose idea was it to do the place up then? Oh, I'll give you one guess. She's got you wrapped around her little finger, that one. <laughs> Tell me about it. We're taking delivery of a £600 bed later on this week. Are you kidding? Hmm? Don't ask me how. We only went out for a tin of paint. 600 quid? What is it? One of them water beds? Uh, I'll tell you another thing, Gary. We're having it on the drip. You let her have credit after what you said? Mm. Well, it must be love. An emotional blackmail. She won a sinner. She was like a kid in a sweet shop. And you gave in to her? I'm surprised at you, Jim. Ah, well, maybe I was just worrying too much about the price, you know what I mean? It doesn't work out too bad once you break it down, you know? I wish I could go out and get a new bed. Can't afford new shoes for kids. Well, if things are that bad? Well, some weeks is all I can do to feed us all. Why do you think I didn't want to go for a pint? Ah, I'm sorry, Gary. I wasn't thinking I apologise. I can let you have a few quid, Gary. I'd never be able to pay you back. No, well, I'll give you a few quid. I mean, I'd give you loads more, but I can't afford it. Oh, don't be daft. I wish you'd never said anything, though. No, I'd like to help. Look, I didn't come round here to plead poverty. It's just that there's two of them and there's one of me, and sometimes it's bloody hard. Aye, well, I can imagine. I mean, I claim everything I'm entitled to. I'm not proud. It's, I still can't make ends meet. I thought you'd be doing all right, you see. You know, you got the round started again, you know? I lost half my customers when Judy died. I'll never get them back. Aye. What I could do with is a proper job with flexible hours. Well, where do we meet it, Gary? Have you ever thought about driving a money cab? No. Well, why don't you start thinking about that, eh? Because Steve and Vikram, they're starting up a firm, so they are. Are they? Aye. Stephen will sort you out, I'm sure of it. But don't you need a, a, a special licence and pass exams and that? Not at all. You know how to drive and you know the area. Can't be much more than that, can it? That's not a bad idea, that, Jim. Cheers. Ah, uh, I got needed that off the day I've had. Hey, Gary. How'd you get on, mate? Uh, all right. He said if I do the necessary, he'll fix me up. 
Uh, well, what did I tell you? There you are now. Good luck to you. Will you take a drink? No, I better not. Uh, I better go and rescue Emily. I've left her with twins. But thanks anyway. And uh, thanks for that. Aye. Cheerio, Gary. See you. See you, Gary. I'll tell you what I admire that man, bringing up them kids in a pittance, eh? He wouldn't take a penny off me and he certainly wouldn't get in a debt. Unlike me, you mean? It's not what I said. It's what you meant. No, no, what I meant is I just admire the way he's coping. 